Olympics, we have the most outstanding Canadian and the Georgia most outstanding player, Brady Oliveira. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, the Can we get dinner for voting for you or what? Did, did you vote for me? I'm wondering if it was a sub. How does it, how does it, speaking of Winnipeg boys, how does it feel to, uh, to reach the top of the mountain? It's, it's, it's insane, man. It's, it's, it's a, I'm blessed. You know, I continue to say it. It's a blessing. Yeah, obviously, you know, I've, I've earned it. I've, I've put the work in. You know, the, the amount of work that I put into my craft to continue to be the best player and teammate that I can be the guys around me. You know, that's really why I do it, to try and make others around me better. And then for when it comes to the running back position, you know, I know what levels I can take this game to. And I think every single year I've been evolving my game. And as I said in my speech, it's a big part of it because of Jason Hogan. You know, that guy truly cares about this game, cares about his players, and demands excellence from me every single day. And I just truly appreciate him, you know, having him in my corner every single day really means a lot to me, means the world to me, and he's a guy that truly cares about me. So um, it's, it's amazing, man, to be up here with two of the most prestigious awards in this amazing league that I've been watching since I was a young kid. Yeah, it's, it's a dream, man. It's awesome. As a, as a Canadian in this league, I'm wondering, do you feel the responsibility? And, and what do you think the impact you can have to, to win this award? Canadian, just the fourth Canadian in, in history to do it, and the first since John Cornish in 2013. What impact do you think that it's going to have? Yeah, I feel a huge responsibility in like, paving the way for younger and future generations of Canadians that are going to enter this great league. You know, I will continue to demand excellence for myself, play at an extremely high level, playing a position that's predominantly American, you know. Being a Canadian at the running back position, I want to just continue to play extremely good football in this league for a lot more years and make sure that I, ins I inspire, again, the younger generation and make an impact on this game. And understand that if you're a Canadian kid and you want to play at a skill position, that you can win the most outstanding player award. It doesn't always have to go to a quarterback. You know, if you are the best player in the league and you so happen to be a running back or a receiver or a safety or whatever it is, that you can do it because there's been others before you that have accomplished that feat. So I'm blessed, man, and I just want to continue to, to inspire the younger generation. You said up there you didn't expect that second one. Why? I think what I just said, right, I, I think it, you know, you look at last year, right, it, it, goes to, it goes to quarterbacks, right, obviously it has for a very long time, there's an anomaly, right, a couple of years where, you know, it might go to another, another position, and it so happens to this year, you know, but I, I do think they got it right, I, I do think I earned this with my play every single week, you know, the, the way I play this game, my style, my physical style, running through walls every single week and doing that consistently when others may not because physically that is extremely taxing and demanding on your body. But like I said, I demand excellence for myself. My teammates deserve that out of me and this organization deserves that out of me. Um, so, again, I, th I do think they got it right this year. Do you feel like a wrong was made right? Because you should probably should have got it last year. No, I don't, I don't think I got this award because the voters made a wrong doing last year and they think, oh, he should get it this year. No, I think, I think I earned it with my play this year. You know, just like I thought last year I earned it with my play. I think this year again, you know, with my consistent level of play week in and week out is why I think earned this award. Yes, sir, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, okay. You could have gone back to that. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. I, yeah, I, I personally think I could have, but... Um, and, uh, I mean, yeah, these are great. I, I just, we 
lost last year in the Great Cup, and I'm here again for another Great Cup, and I want to win a Great Cup. You know? At the start of the season, you were out of the lineup. What benefit is it now, looking back, that you didn't play those games and how you feel today and ready for Sunday? It wouldn't have mattered. I miss, I miss one game. I miss week two. I come back week three against BC, and I'm, I'm on a snap count play only two quarters. So really, I've, I missed a game, a game and a half really this season. It's nothing. I'm, I'm built for this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big back, physical back that's built to play an entire season, to be durable, to be consistent, and to be available for my teammates and to help this organization win football games. So I'm a guy that wants to play 18 games every single season. You know, we all strive to do that. It is challenging, but like I said, I know I'm built for this. Russ Jackson, Tony Gabriel, John Cornish. What's your reaction to hearing those names now that you're among even having my name mentioned in the same sentence as those legends is bizarre to me, kind of. You know, I still feel like I'm so young in my career. And especially a guy like John Cornish, you know, I, I grew up, you know, watching him play uh, the running back position and him just dominating. So the fact that I'm being mentioned with his name is, it's obviously, I guess, a little bit bizarre, but of course, an incredible honor. And I do think I've, you know, every accomplishment that I've received, I've, I, I've earned it. I've put all the work in to earn it. But again, it's the guys around me. You know, having one heck of an offensive line to run behind every single week for the last number of seasons, you know, being consistent is a big part of them. So I owe it all to my teammates, my coaches, and, and playing for a first-class organization. You're still so young. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta drop that. Like you said, I'm still so young in my career. There's still, like I said, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just getting started. I feel like there's, I can reach new heights in my career at the running back position. Like I said, with Coach Jason Hogan, I feel like every year I'm continuing to improve and get better. I'm working on different crafts in my game to improve and see how I, how I can attack the game differently. So I got a long way to go. To become a Hall of Famer, but one day. One day. Uh, Brady, you uh, grew up obviously watching this team. It's well documented. What do you think, uh, younger Brady, would think of the fact that not only you won a great cup with the Bombers, but now you've won the most outstanding player for the team that you've been Insane. This, this is nuts. Like. This is crazy, man. Like, uh, yeah, like, I, everyone knows the story. Grew up a Winnipeg Blue Bomber fan, proud Winnipegger. The fact that I'm up here, like I guess I was the two most prestigious awards in this league, representing my city, representing the Winnipeg Blue, Blue Bombers organization and, and all my teammates, it's, it's insane, man. It's insane. What do you hope maybe the next Brady who's out there watching what you've accomplished tonight is thinking right now, seeing what you've done here? I hope that they're inspired and that they understand that, you know, they can also follow in my footsteps one day, you know. That was me when I was a young kid. You know, guys like John Cornish and Andrew Harris, guys that played my position and were Canadian, and it's a position that are usually Americans. And you know, most young kids might look at positions like that and say, "Oh, well, I can't do it." You know, Americans are at that position, but when you have Canadians playing at a very high level, I think it gives the younger generation hope and it inspires them to continue to work hard. You know, I got to where I am today because I've I've sacrificed a lot in my life and I've worked extremely hard. Where I am, so I'm really hoping that you know this this message inspires the younger, the young future of Canadian town that's going to come into this great league, and knowing that you know if, if I can do it, then they can do it as well. Brady, at what point in your football life did you realize achievements like this would be possible for you? Yeah, you know, obviously when I started playing this game of football, you know I, I think I was quite dominant at the game, and I think as I you know. Went on and played football at the University of North Dakota. You know, my, my level of play started to increase, and you know that that thought of playing pro football was always in my mind. But it was starting to get more real and real as my freshman season passed, my sophomore season passed, going into my junior season, and it's starting to get some scouts, you know, pop into the building and, and, and talking with you. So I knew that it was in me. Uh, I always knew it was in me. But as my career started to progress. I think it could be something really special, and I think we're starting to see it. And, and again, I'm fortunate and blessed to be 
I think I'm in a, in a, I'm in a very amazing place in my life right now with being in the position that I'm in with an amazing organization and great guys around me. And I just want to continue to get better. And you know, I hope, you know, last number of years I'm just getting started and I hope I continue to, like I said, reach new heights. And I do think that sky's the limit for myself. So you've reset the bar, like you're a seven foot high jumper, but now seven foot and an inch is up next. Yeah, you gotta, and this is what I mean, I, I, I attack every single day with that mindset to get better, and especially in the off-season, you know, I, I truly take my preparation in the off-season when it comes to, you know, what I put into my body, the foods I'm eating, my off-season training when it comes to getting, you know, the, the field workouts in, lifting heavy weight, because I understand it's important, and it allows me to play those 18 games at a very high level and to be physical, um, and, and, and so all those things, it's, Okay, you had a great season this year. Well, how do you get better next year? What can you do to continue to improve? And you have to have that mindset if you want to get it. I think you have to have that mindset if you want to have a good long career in this league. Three, you were an FCS player. You weren't a first-round pick. Serious injury as a rookie. Without the CFL's ratio rule, do you think you would have had the chance to develop into an MLB? Yeah, obviously this is the Canadian Football League, right? There needs to be that ratio. I think I had a guy like Andrew Harris in front of me that was thankfully Canadian playing that position. So when I got drafted in, it was only a matter of time when, you know, he was going to hand over the reins to me. So, again, I think it, you know, truly thankful that the Winnipeg Blue Bombers took a chance on me and drafted me in the second round and allowed me to, you know, step into really big shoes, you know. And it wasn't so pretty at the start. You know, and they trusted me and they believed in me and they continue to ride with me. And this is why I got so much loyalty to this organization. Not that I'm, you know, a Winnipeg, that's one thing, but the way my career started, especially when I got the role as a starting guy, it wasn't so pretty, if you guys remember. And, and now here we are. So hopefully, answer your question. The commissioner recently talked about Canadians, the ratio. He implied only as a suggestion, not that he believed it that the ratio maybe isn't necessary because of how well Canadian players are playing. Uh, is that something you're proud of because you're a big part of creating that impression? Yeah, there needs to be a ratio. You know, again, there's a C in it for a reason. It's the Canadian Football League. This is a gay-driven league with amazing fans across the country. I, I bet if you ask all of them, they're going to say they, they love and they're proud to watch their Canadian talent. So that ratio needs, needs, needs to stay. Forgive the cliche question. Would you trade those two trophies for... Absol yes, yes. We, I'll stop you there. I would trade these in a heartbeat to win another championship, to win this great cup on Sunday, and to give an opportunity for my teammates that have never experienced it yet to give an opportunity for Coach Hogan, who has been a vital role, again, in my career, molding me into this you know, really good running back. He hasn't had a chance to win it yet and to experience the joys of a, a great cup victory. So it's things like that. My boys that haven't won one on this team, coaches that haven't won, especially Coach Jay. So we got to go handle business Sunday and, and win it for those guys. Last question. Not even Andrew did this. <laughs> Andrew's a goat, man. He, he, he really is. He, again, like I said, he paved the way. A guy that I had to follow in his footsteps, and I learned a lot from him. You know, sitting back, watching him, how he, how he attacks today, and how he, how he played at a high level for such a long time. And now we're here. I think he'd be extremely proud of me right now. I guarantee you probably already texted me, so I'll give him a call after this and we'll chop it up. And he's a guy that's extremely proud of me. You know, we, we still keep in touch uh, to this day. A guy that I, I call I call a brother. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I was able to be in the same locker room with him and learn from him and, uh, and hopefully one day be mentioned uh, among his name. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys.